it's funny, you know, I used to look at elderly people, you know, the elderly people in, in the neighborhood is like a separate, almost as a separate species of life. You know, the people that are putting around drug market looking for their x wax or their brand muffins or something like that. And you always look at them with such disdain, you know. Oh my God, this guy's so slow. Or oh my God, this this person is just driving me crazy because he's old and he doesn't know how to drive. Then something happened along the way. Well, I'm not elderly. I am uh, getting older, and I'm starting to find myself off the nut in places like Drug Mart. Don't you hate it when there's a fork in with the spoons and you, and you didn't realize it was in there? But uh, the thing I found, uh, I, I, my wife and I have started to go to some of these fish, fish fries locally at the local Catholic churches or there's a, a German club down the street. And we started to meet people from all walks of life with these fish fries. And a lot of them are quite a bit older than us. And you find a lot of the older people are uh, very knowledgeable and interesting people to talk to. And when you think about the people like my parents who are from the World War II era, or some of my friends' parents who fought in Korea War, or other people I've met who just in my neighborhood that are from the Vietnam War, these are all people that were raised with a different mindset. They were raised with more of a mindset of, of doing things for one another, being more philanthropic, being kinder, friendlier. At least here in Cleveland, they seem to be that way. And it seems like my generation and the older generations are one of the last few generations where people actually look out for one another, where people are actually fought for causes or had beliefs that reinforced what our society was about. And what I see out there is that a lot of us, including myself at one point, the younger generations look up to us as the older people, as, as every younger generation does, as if we're just like this separate species of, of living organism, like we don't matter. Our ways are old fashioned and antiqu antiquated. And it's not true. And we somehow got to bridge the gap and, and start showing and start more respect for the older generations. Because there's a lot of good people out there that fought for us in different wars or fought for us protesting against wars or, you know, brought peace where they no one thought there could be, especially in the race relations in this country. There's a lot of people that had some pretty strong and noble ideals at one point in our country. And these people are now put aside because they're elderly, because they're old, because they're considered expendable. And they're not. They may not be as fast as they once were, or as strong as they once were, or their minds may not work as quick. But these are some people that I've met that are very wonderful people, filled with all kinds of knowledge and history. And I don't know. Go, go hug an elderly person. Maybe we should all just take a day and go down to the local, you know, retirement home as they're talking to some of these people because they want to talk they're lonely everyone in their lives is gone you know there's a lady down the street who's completely alone she'd be crazy but uh, her her husband's gone and she didn't really have any relatives she just comes out in the yard and talks to you she does weird things they like put bones in the bushes to try to kill the dogs but hey we're all a little weird uh, we don't know why she puts bones in the bushes we think she's kind of lost her marbles she puts bones in the bushes and she puts chocolate in the bushes, so she's trying to kill something. So anyway, that was just more philosophical thoughts here about the elderly, because I one day I'm gonna be if I live old enough, I'm gonna be one of these old doddering guys wandering around drug mart drooling over the uh, life-size marquees of Wilma Smith. Have a good day, bye.